Hello everyone. Welcome to session 3 of PractiTest training. In this session, we will understand some of the dashboard features of PractiTest and see what all you can what all information you can view on the dashboard. So once you sign up for the trial version of PractiTest, you will get the URL to log in. Uh, so you just need to open the URL, use type in your username and password and click sign in. You'll be redirected to the home page. So I have a by default a demo project and I have also customize the dashboard to enable eight tabs on the dashboard as per the project needs so you can it's it's highly customizable and you can customize the dashboard as per the project needs and how you want to track the progress of your testing project so for example uh, in any typical testing project you will be monitoring the issue by status um, and the criticality of the issue so we have the first tab that we have is issue distribution by priority and status so basically if there are any showstopper or any you know, like defect which are critical to be fixed in order to progress with the testing then those are categorized and listed on the dashboard and then you can see the progress how the defect trend is going on how many of them are new how many of them are in progress uh, which are which are closed fixed uh, or assigned so all that issue distribution or defect distribution by priority and status can be uh, viewed on the dashboard in one of the tab so this is customizable you can go in and customize the dashboard and update what you want to see on the x and y axis of this particular tab the second tab is about the latest issue updates which is basically the feed of the issues that are being raised or you can say the feed of the defects or bugs that are raised in a particular project so this gives a high level understanding about the type of issues that are being raised in that particular project you can also see the status of the issue and when the, the issue was last modified then you have a link to go to issues which will take you to the actual issue the overall issue uh, window when you can see more details about the issues third tab is about the issue status by stat uh, issues by status which is basically a pie chart which gives you the status of all issues a lot a lot uh, categorized based on the status so for example how many of them were rejected how many new defects were raised or how many defects were closed fixed etc etc fourth tab is about test status uh, tests by run status so this is about the test cycle that's going on so for example you have you know like 100 test cases to be executed in a particular test cycle then those hundred test cases will be listed here in form of pie chart and you can see the progress live how the testing team is progressing with those test cases in terms of execution so you'll see the pass fail um, not completed and other statuses about the test cases here then you can see the tests by status which is another status so basically uh, not only the execution there might be test case preparation work going on for which you want to track how the test case preparation is is progressing for a particular feature so you can say you can also have a view around how the test cases are being written for a particular feature what's the status of the test cases whether the test cases have been documented completely whether they are still in draft or there needs to be you know like some feedback has been received for the test case which requires those feedback to be incorporated into the test case so which will be shown as to repair then you can see issues assigned to and statuses uh, by assigned to and statuses for example you have 50 defects raised and there are you know like five developers working on it uh, you can 
have a view of who which developer has been assigned what issues to work on and what is the progress of the issues that they are assigned on so for example in this in this chart you can see Anna Smith um, is assigned different type of issues I mean different uh, she is assigned some issues and the statuses of those issues for example uh, two are still open one has been assigned to her she has fixed two of the issues and then one issue has been closed and one new issue so that's all status as as it is being you know progressed whatever issues are being assigned to Anna um, in other tab you can see test by assigned to and status which is basically the test case prep work that is being that is ongoing for a particular feature so how the test cases are being documented in the team and who is working on what test cases and what is the status of those test cases whether this, the test cases are ready or there are some feedback to be incorporated they will be in repair or the test cases are still in draft so that status you can see in this tab um, the last tab is about the issue statuses uh, progress so this is basically listing all the issues number of issues and how the issues are being progressed uh, within within the particular week or or over the, the period of time so weekly activity how many new issues were being raised how many were fixed and how many were assigned so all those things are highly customizable you can go to customize and update all the details in the um, dashboard so uh, practice test allows you to have eight different tabs on on your dashboard which will help you to keep track of the progress of the test case documentation test case execution issues that are being raised and what what issues are assigned to whom um, which developer what's the progress of those issues so it's it's highly beneficial to track the overall progress if you have if you have the granular level of details that you can see on the dashboard then you can also have a private dashboard so for example you can um, customize this dashboard only for you and that will be the private dashboard or you can have uh, a public dashboard you can create a dashboard and then make it public so it can be you know like viewed by all the project members or you can also have an external dashboard which can be viewed by everyone so external dashboard you can create a URL put that URL into a, any wiki and all the higher level or all the stakeholders for the project can have the visibility what's going on in the particular project once they have the list once they see the dashboard of a project they'll they'll know what the run status is what the issue status is in in the uh, going on in the project so that's pretty much all about the dashboard in next session we'll go into much detail and see how you can go ahead and customize the dashboard tab list along different axes and as per the project needs Thank you.